So welcome everyone, uh, this is Max. We are back with the new content for you. So it's been a while, I know, I know. So we had to travel a bit, we were at Sigma Malta. Uh, so that event was huge. Then we left to Dubai, we spent some time there, we met some clients. So, you know, left and right, and it was really difficult for us to create it successful and beautiful content. So what we're gonna do from now on, we'll try to create one piece every week for you guys, just so in case you are building the casino, sports book, so you have that top-notch content. So uh, let's try to make this uh, during this 2023. Happy New Year, uh, have all the best in your life, and let's proceed Let's dive in into the content, right? So what we're gonna do today? So we're gonna discuss like how to promote your online casino, right? So also some things that you have to know if you want to be successful, like what really works today and how to make things like really happen. Because if you just Google something, if you go on YouTube and you try to find a content like how to promote your online casino, what you can find is nothing. Nothing that would be useful, like really useful for you and for your business. So here we are with the content and uh, let's dive into, let's discuss what do you need to promote the content, how difficult it is. And uh, well, that's easy. Uh, you know, the online casino marketing comes down to several things. So first you have to choose the media. So you can choose Google Ads, Facebook, Twitch, native ads, email marketing, whatever, then you have to uh, pull the trigger, push the button, and the money will flow in. At least that's something that, you know, so many people say. So that's easy. You just build it, they will come, right? So that's uh, something that you hear all over the place, you know, M create a domain, register a successful domain, get yourself a white label platform, that's it, you can make millions. <laughs> so that's a little bit more complicated. And uh, let's just look at everything the way it is, like without making all the, you know, super statements about how cool this business is and how easy it is to drive traffic, because it's not. So the first thing you have to understand is that everything actually works. So what works in this business? Uh, everything. Google Ads, Facebook Ads, uh, Twitch, affiliates, agent system, all these things work. And the most important thing is that you have to realize that both of these things work for unregulated market and regulated market as well. So what does it mean? What it means like unregulated and regulated. So when you work on regulated markets, it means that Google and Facebook, social media platforms, whatever, they will actually allow you to advertise on their platforms. So the way social media, like big boys, uh, like platforms like Google, search engines, the way they work is that they do not allow anything that is outside of regulation. So if you live in your country and you want to build the business in your country and you want to market to your country, then you have to really check. Well, do you have any regulations? Do you have any laws regarding online gambling? And if you, for example, live in Europe, then European Union, like every state in European Union, they have their own regulations and their own rules, and online gambling is allowed in every state. So you have to go to the state where you want to market your business, let's say Germany, and you have to get your own license, and then, oh well, you just have to provide with the license number to Google, and then you can market. But uh, what if you do not have like 10 to 20 months to spend on getting the license? You don't have hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars to get these local licenses, to get this regulation? Then what happens then? Then you become, you know, unregulated. Then you want to work in unregulated space uh, where there is no any legal base uh, about online gambling. And you cannot do that because everything that is not allowed, according to Google and Facebook, is 
definitely restricted. So you cannot go to the country that doesn't have any law system and start, you know, advertising there because that just the rules my Facebook can go, right? And before you just start like blaming everyone and like saying, okay, how do I advertise? I don't have any chances and I don't have any ways. Well, there are ways, but first, uh, this market is really young. Five years ago, there was no regulation whatsoever. Like rules, they come and change, come and change. Every market becomes more regulated. So let's discuss, you know, the normal case when you are the startup and uh, you want to start like cash flowing as fast as possible. So the first thing, you have to get yourself international license. If you want to learn more about international licenses, you can use this link above here and go and check that video, right? So that's easy. So the second thing is you have to get yourself a platform, APIs, PSPs, whatever it takes to get everything up and running. So now, what casinos do that have an international license that want to work in a regulated space, for example, is that they are using the black hat marketing strategies. So it's unpopular topic or popular, depends on how you look at it, because if you just type into the YouTube, like black hat marketing, you realize immediately what it is and how the, the system works. So basically, uh, when you start an ad, when you want to start an ad at Google or on Facebook, then you have that ad ready and you send it for compliance for the check to the platform, right? So the way it happens is that if you don't have a license and you work on, in a regulated market, they will reject any ad that you're trying to push through. So in order to avoid this, what is happening is that with Black Hat, you are showing to the compliance team something else, not related to gambling, right? And then when they approve the ad, what is happening is that your audience sees the ad that you want to show them, sees the landing page and the website that you want to show them. So that's what the black hat is, and this is the trick that's not new. This is something that is on the market for like 5, 10, 15 years. As far as I remember myself, you know, when I was 15 years old, I already knew that there is a black hat, like, since the beginning of the internet and since, the, you know, the Google became so popular in the uh, early 2000s. All right, now you can say, okay, let's go on, let's take action, let's do things. Now we know how to do stuff. Let's hire some people, let's do this advertising. Well, hold on, cowboy, there is something else to it, right? So successful businesses do several things right. So in order to start, you don't have any cash flow yet, you're like you are zero and you want to become something, right? So you have a budget that is usually limited unless you are like a venture capital fund or backed by a venture capital fund and you have like 15 million. Well, probably that's not the case. It's not the case that uh, well, usually happens when I speak to clients and you have a very limited budget. So you think, okay, how are we gonna uh, distribute the budget in order to be successful, to start generating new client acquisitions to get clients in so they start depositing with our casino so we can start generating cash flow, right? So there are a few aspects to this one. So successful businesses know that they have to focus on one market. So they do not have this mindset where, listen, we want to be like, like Bet365 or Betfair and want to conquire the world like immediately. And we want to work everywhere because we are like Google or we are like Tesla, you know, or something like that. They know that in order to be successful, they have to focus all the effort of the marketing team, all the effort on one market specifically. And, uh, you know, do that and you know to keep that effort and focus on that market as long as it's required to bring in the success right because you know there are a lot of moving parts and you have to build a lot of things you'd write a lot of copy so all that takes energy time and money and you have to make sure that you know you have everything aligned and everything is moving towards one direction all your energy is well uh set now the second thing that they know is that they have to choose one medium only. So let me ask you the question. So, well, if you have, for example, 500 bucks to spend, would you rather spend 500 bucks on one medium, like Google or Facebook or Twitch, whatever, or would you just like split your 500 bucks budget 
and you would assign it to every you know platform like separately like most of the cases like we think that diversifying is good right so we want to diversify as much as possible we want to use like two legs to stand on the ground we want to have four wheels to drive the car yeah so all these things are happening that that's true so you want to do that over the time but in reality when you are just starting you have 500 bucks budget and you know with tier one markets when we look at like markets like well okay canada japan south korea and other tier one markets you may end up paying 40 bucks per click when we speak about google so 40 bucks per click 500 bucks equals 12 clicks so now you have 12 clicks for example that you drive on daily basis and uh, now you have that, you know, very limited amount of clicks to understand what is right and what is wrong. And if you decide to split like all these 12 clicks over all the platforms, like three towards Google, three towards Facebook, whatever, then we have a problem because we don't have any statistically significant data. So think about this way. So when you have, you know, a rock of ice, and you just throw that rock of ice on the very hot asphalt during, you know, the summertime. So what happens with that rock of ice that it starts melting and it melts really slow. So you can move it into different places to find the place that, you know, would stop melting. Uh, so you can observe better. Now imagine like you have, you know, a bunch of small ice rocks and you throw them at the same hot asphalt so what happens is that they melt immediately so you don't even feel the effect nothing is left nothing to observe nothing to change you don't have you know any uh, uh you uh, you don't have any place to move anything and you don't have place to adjust anything so if you want to be successful especially in the beginning you have to avoid diversification you know as long as possible unless you can spend tons of money on testing things and you are not afraid of spending money because you have allocated like enormous budget and now you can test different mediums you can test different strategies and you can drive success right after like many failures and uh many attempts to simply you know kickstart your business so what happens with the uh teams and what happens with startups is that like one of the main reasons why businesses fail is because they are short on finance they don't have enough of money to continue the business so to avoid that this is just the one thing that you can do it is a very practical thing focus on one don't spread yourself too thin and um, focus on building that cash flow and getting your clients on the board because it's not that easy so there are several things that you know you want to pay attention to like you you have to understand that if someone lands on your website like someone lands on your landing page it doesn't mean that they will buy they will become like first deposit customers right so when they land on your page it's very important to understand that you know people have a very short attention span like oh like two seconds 1.5 seconds for like gen z generation z whatever yeah so you have to make sure that you know the page is loading fast everything looks cool everything looks engaging and everything drives them towards that first deposit so if you have all that and you probably believe that you have all of that like all of the teams believe that they have all of that like done from the beginning then it's fine but usually what happens is that you find tons of mistakes when you start testing things and when you start burning money so you know and and that's fine because you want to start as fast as possible you don't want to you know procrastinate you don't want to become in a position where you uh you paralysis because of analysis thing so you want to start testing things as fast as possible and now you're learning so you're spending you know some money on uh traffic and you're looking and watching like how people and what they do do they leave like because you are spending your budget and you want to people to get in so if everything is working fine which is you know really the case then you can scale that part but usually you know you have several things to work on so the first is the customer journey so this is the user experience you know the first second when they land the first interaction 
with your site. And for example, if you have a white label platform, you're working like white label model, your business model is white label, then, well, I'm sorry, but this thing probably will not work because you cannot customize anything on white label platforms. You know, they look cool, but when we come to specific markets, you don't have a lot of customization opportunities. And many of these platforms, they just look cheap. You cannot measure anything. You cannot change anything. So even if you do some analysis, you cannot understand like what's wrong to my funnel. I'm burning like 5,000 every day. And I cannot change anything because I don't know what to change. But if you have your turnkey platform, you can measure everything and you can test and analyze everything, implement changes and test again. And these are exactly like the first 60 days on what you're gonna do. This is called like buying data. You will be buying data, you will be testing things, changing things, testing things, analyzing, changing things. And this is the feedback loop that will, you know, build the momentum. And as soon as you have that conversion rate and you have that traffic flowing in, you know, you have the first registrations, you have first depositors, you can measure everything properly then uh, you become like break even and profitable and you can make a decision whether to scale, how to scale and you know, other important topics. Now, this one is understood, I hope. If not, leave the questions. So one of the things that I want to share with you is yeah, the file, the PDF file of all the uh, successful ads. So you can find like tens and tens of uh, successful ads in that PDF file that you can download below this video. So check this out just so you know, you know, how other people, successful guys, build ads for their online casinos, like business owners just like yourself. Good. Just, you know, to stay grounded, don't do ads, you know, don't do any paid advertising if you are broke. So if you have like your last 5,000 bucks, you don't have any experience in the business, do not run paid ads because you will be testing for some time. Yes, paid ads are working pretty cool. This is the uh, one of the best ways to drive, you know, clients into your business because you have full control over your clients. Uh, you don't have to pay anyone like affiliate fees uh, and you can scale whenever you want. You can customize it and you can, you know, do whatever you want with your traffic. But don't do that if you are broke and don't do that if, you've ne if you don't have any experience in the business. If you're broke and you have a lot of experience in the business, like this is completely uh, like uh, your responsibility, do whatever you want. You know, in the end of the day, it's uh, your cards and uh, you decide how to play your cards, right? Good. But what do you want to do if you don't have any experience and you don't want to take that risk, you don't know how to drive traffic, you don't know what paid ads look like, right? So the uh, solution to this one, and this is something that many of uh, my clients do in the beginning, they start testing with affiliates. So think about that. Many affiliates, they have personal relationships with their clients, right? So they, for example, run some different forums and then they recommend like online casino, your online casino, and they say, okay, go and test because you do something differently because, well, it's just a cool place to, you know, spend some time and to get some cool experience, right? So what these guys do, they go and they try to register. So this is the free way for you to test the entire customer journey, the user experience, test payment systems that you have, test all the technology that you have in place to understand that, okay, now we drive this traffic, now we have this person and this person is on our site now we just you know if it just registered and ended up being your um, not paid client yet but now you know it made the, he made the first deposit so when you have a ratio like good ratio for you know the registration and the paid client for good affiliates is around 40 percent then you can understand that okay we have 10 clients that register on our site. Now we have two, two and a half clients uh, that also become first paid depositing clients. So now it looks good. But if it's not, then at least you saved your budget 
even if well, if you had one right in the first place so you you, you saved your budget now you, you you know that everything works and now you can invest in paid ads you can hire people you can call everyone like listen we have like this kind of conversion ratio you can show numbers with your online like, casino you know, does and um, this can be you know the uh, second thing that you do for uh, in order to scale it so many uh, successful businesses they don't start with paid ads they don't start with which they do not start with anything else but with affiliates it's always a good idea to have a ceo right from the beginning it's your long-term strategy but affiliates you have this choice chance to test them out it's not as fast is for example paid ads you know uh, the power behind affiliates is in uh, the number of affiliates and as soon as they drive traffic from all the places it's one of the best channels to scale but it's also one of the best channels to test your business if you don't have a lot of resources if you don't have a lot of knowledge in the beginning so for example you want to spend like 500 bucks a day just to test things out and you're working on tier one market which i do not recommend you to do so it's much better to get you know tier two markets because they are all merging markets they are booming and uh, most of the people i know they actually work in tier two markets so but just like for this example's sake you're driving 500 bucks every day just to get yourself 10 to 12 clicks right so 60 days that's 30k so do you have 30k to burn just to make sure that everything works and if you fail for example you have a very bad partnership with some white label company that do not want to customize anything do not want to work on customer experience and user you know journey then you may end up losing 30k so can you allow yourself to have that second round and get another 30k to burn through in order to tweak your funnel a bit so it's much much easier sometimes to get you know real men someone who already have experience like affiliates to say like over the top boys and uh, tune your funnel and get everything in order and make sure that everything works and uh, you know build on that foundation and by the way uh, Tier 1 markets can be really expensive, like 40, 30, 40 buy bucks per click. With uh, Tier 2 markets, it based market on market, it depends. And it can cost you like 10 to 20 times less to drive that profitable click, right? So something that takes 100,000 to 200,000 bucks to test on Tier 1 market can be just 10 to 20k. So it's really big difference if you ask me. So just to sum everything up, well, first go and download that PDF with all the successful ads. There is a bunch of ads that you want to look into to make your decision, uh, to see what other guys do, big guys that know what they do. The second thing is that both regulated markets and regulated markets, they advertise, they use pretty much the same channels. It's just the strategy that changes. And people who do these things, they also change because someone who's working for regulated market only, he may end up being, you know, a very bad candidate for the unregulated market. But most of the guys that I know, they, you know, are successful on both markets. They have a lot of experience on both markets because this regulation is just a new stuff. And people who are in the business for 10, 15 years, they know all these things pretty well. And they really struggle with the regulated markets more because of all the, you know, rules that they set, you know, the changes that they do on a daily basis. So this brings a lot of cows into the business this jeopardizes like all the marketing strategies all the forecasts all the numbers you have to change things on the fly so this is something like not many people enjoy to do especially according to like several markets i'm not gonna share these markets so it's, there are several markets no one likes so the second thing is don't spread yourself to your thing choose your market choose one two geographies you want to focus on you will tell me thank you later this uh, the uh, choose one medium your budget is limited you really want to spend your budget get that significant uh, statistical significance you want to you know tweak make some changes uh, 
you know, measure everything that is happening and then to change and implement changes and try again. So this is exactly what's going to happen. It will determine whether or not you're successful within the first 60 days, right? The thing number three is let the real men to do the job and send them over the top. If you are not sure, you don't have experience, you don't have the budget, get yourself affiliates, work with affiliates, and uh, try to make sure that you know your entire customer journey, your site, uh, and your technology, and user experience, they're all there in place. They're all according to what your client wants to see on this specific market before buying something, before running paid ads. And the last thing is really luck into who you work with because many technologies, they are not very, you know, marketing savvy. They are not very business savvy. Some technologies, they are developed just to be developed, you know, to benefit that business that develops the technology. So you want to make sure that you can measure every step, you can measure every click, you can measure every move your people do, just because if you fail in the first place, you can do analysis and you can see, whoa, that thing doesn't work, just like with real stuff, just like with casino. Like, listen, if one table does not perform well, like inside the land-based casino, you have that big brother, you have that eye in the sky, that looks down and watches, observes that table. What is going on? Maybe the dealer is doing something wrong. Maybe there are players that cheat on the table. So it's very important to get back to check, you know, the records, check cameras, and understand what, why that table doesn't perform, why it loses money. Same with your online casino. You have to have ability to measure everything and then to analyze all data that you have and make the conscious and really good decision that will benefit your business, not someone else. All right, gentlemen, it's really time to cut this video. If you have any questions, then uh, feel free to leave, uh, you know, your question in the comments below. And if you are looking for the license, you're starting your business, reach out to us. Someone from my team will reply you as soon as possible. We are doing a really good job qualifying people to understand if they're applicable to get the license in the first place and start this online casino as far as book you know business this is the first step you want to take so reach out to us and uh, check whether or not you qualify or not thank you for the time we'll try to do the uh videos like that on a weekly basis uh not to disappear for you know one month two months or longer uh but uh just depends on you so like this video share this video and see you next week have a good time goodbye